man, I'm bad at instruction. I know what got me into cars, and that was my siblings. Yes. Uh, there's a big age gap between my siblings and I. At least like 10 years. So they had cars when I was a kid. Okay, you probably didn't see what happened because the camera probably shut off, but I just dragged a cone off the track. <laughs> a big cone. And um, my brother had an S2000, and he was getting bored of the S2000, and he... He didn't ask me if I wanted to buy it, I just said, hey, are you selling this? I'm gonna get a loan, and I'm gonna buy this car off of you. And he was okay with it. I've always loved the S2000, and I never thought I'd actually get the chance to own one, because from a purely aesthetic point of view, that's the only reason I liked it. Grand Turismo 2, that was the cover car for Grand Turismo 2, and that's what made me seriously like the car. And then I got to drive it after my brother bought it, and I fell in love. It was the, still remains, the best driving car I've ever experienced to this day. Everyone describes it as driving a bigger go-kart and they're so right. The steering response, the throttle response, everything about it was fantastic. And that engine, that actually is the car that got me into racing because we had an autocross club in town. And I started taking the S2000 out there and I got hooked. I'm sure people watching this may or may not recognize me as the guy who put that car through a fence. You can cut some of that Driving the S2000 on the track, I was young and I was probably the stupidest I'd ever been. I mean, I had no one really teaching me how to do anything. I was kind of just learning everything on my own. And one of the last autocross events for me in June, we had just finished our time runs and we had lots of light left. So they'd send the car out. As soon as that car got to the halfway point, they'd send another one out. And another one out. And so on and so forth. Just for just for a bit of fun. Go out, do whatever you want. Just don't be stupid about it. I was stupid about it. I thought, hey, you know what? They do drift events out here. Let's pitch this thing sideways around every corner and see how I do. A friend of mine at the time, she had just climbed out of the car. I was trying to convince her to come along. It's good thing she didn't. I started my fun run. Everything was seemingly going fine. I was holding every corner. It was fantastic. I learned what uh, I learned what the snapovers do. Coming out of the chicane, I kicked the back end out, the back end regained its grip, whipped me around, and flew me into a fence. It was an expensive mistake to learn. I'm glad I learned it because the, the situation as a whole humbled me quite a bit. I didn't quit racing. <laughs> I, I left, I, I, I took a sabbatical, I took a sabbatical racing, I didn't go back for about a year. Um, it took me some time to kind of regain that confidence because um, you put a car through a fence, it's going to break you a little bit. But I mean, you're young, you learn, you learn from your mistakes. What had happened was, life was changing. Um, I was finding that I needed to, I needed a car that better suited my life, and I just wanted something with more space. And it's not like, I mean, I didn't have kids or anything, I didn't have a girlfriend at the time, but I, the car wasn't practical. I, and uh, it's just, it doesn't work. Having a two-seat convertible does not work. You can't, you can barely fit groceries in it. I mean, it's not, it wasn't a practical car. I sold it, actually. Um, I sold it back to my brother. After it got painted, uh, he threw a body kit on it, <laughs> put some really gaudy wheels on it, and uh, he sold it off to someone else, and the car's gone now. I don't know where it is. Still driving around somewhere, but not here. Uh, and then, after that, I hunted around. I was trying to find... I had a very specific car I wanted. I was hunting around for a Lexus IS300. I was going to try to find one of those as kind of, hey, I'm growing up. I need doors. This is my car. I never ended up finding. I never ended up finding one. And then I made the my first mistake, and <laughs> I bought a Corolla. 
I bought a 2012 Toyota Corolla 5-speed automatic. That was a mistake. <laughs> After I sold the S2000, I, never, I didn't stop racing. I didn't want to stop. The plan, if I had ever found an IS300, the plan would have been to either set up for a track day events, yet still be my daily driver. But I never found one, so I bought this Corolla, and instead I took that racing. Surprisingly, that performed really well as I went in with a handicap of having a car with base all season tires, having a car with without an LSD, having a car with an automatic transmission. I, I was able to learn how to cope with the disadvantages of a car, and it, it taught me quite a bit in the short time that I had it. I traded it in August 2014, and I had that thing out at several events. Actually, there were some, there were a couple of events that, with that car, I placed within top three or four. And I think you were at one of those, Reese. I think I was uh, trying to battle it out with you first, and then you all came out of nowhere and ran faster than me. No, that car, that car taught me a lot, and I owe it. But I mean, I traded it in, and I found out that someone. Stuffed it into something else. The front end was a toast. It's now on the ground, out in Sedley somewhere apparently. And I traded in and I moved on to my current car. So in August 2014, I picked up a 2014 Honda Civic Si four door. It has been the most fun little car I've probably ever had outside the S2000. It's a six-speed manual. I did it proper this time. I don't know why I wanted an automatic when I look back on it, but it was there. Within the month of buying it, just as soon as I finished the braking period, I took it out to the track. It was one of the first things I did with that to go to see what it did. It did everything the Corolla did, but faster. It was great. This car, as a whole for me, is the most complete package. It does everything I need it to do, and it has the spirit of some of my past cars. I think that's why I like it so much. I've resigned this one to being, I'm hoping it's my forever car, because I really like it. That and, uh, I, I don't know, I mean, it, it's a good platform. If, if I felt like it down the road, I can do stuff to it pretty easily, or I can leave it stock and just drive the hell out of it. So far, that game plan's working out pretty nicely. It doesn't matter how much or how little money you have or how much or how little experience you have, you can always learn and grow as long as you have a passion for cars, as long as you have a passion for anything, you can learn about it. Uh, Get it. It's fine. Hello? Hey. Not yet. I'm doing it this afternoon. Yeah. Struts, slings, and bushings? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to check this afternoon. Okay. Thanks for saying bye.